What's shaking, YouTube? Anything I want. Hold my mods. Today we're looking at the Dayton Audio Mini Puck Transducer. These can be used for numerous different projects. Uh, one thing that people use them for is actually to turn any surface into a speaker. We're actually going to be using them though to get some haptic feedback in my virtual pinball cabinet. So how these work is you just hook them into any amplifier really as long as it's got the right resistance and it will take that sound and create vibration. Now, that vibration, depending on what you're sending through to it, will become sound. So, for instance here, I'll go ahead and uh, play something through these. And I got them on the table, so we'll go ahead and uh, give it a little volume here and hopefully you'll start to hear it. So this sound is actually coming through the table. So, I'll go ahead and lift them up off the table and see if you can hear the difference here once I put them on the table. So the entire table is now vibrating with that sound. Hopefully it's not vibrating the video for you guys. So we'll uh, take it off there. So maybe you're uh, actually getting a better idea of the vibration just by what it's doing to the video. So we're going to put these in the virtual pinball cabinet. So as the ball is bouncing around in the cabinet, uh, we should hopefully get a little bit of that vibration and that feeling somewhat simulating the real thing. What I'm using for the amplifier is the Lepi LP2020A. Uh, it's a fairly inexpensive uh, little amplifier. has stereo sound, control for bass and treble, so I'm going to be using this to turn down the treble so that hopefully I'm mostly getting the bass through the transducers as well as the volume control. We do have inputs for RCA or for the 3.5 millimeter jack. So let's uh, go get this thing hooked up. Here we have the base of the virtual pinball machine. So it's actually made out of a storage rack that I picked up from Menards. Here we have one of the transducers. That's on the left hand side. Uh, you can see the buttons right here that are the flipper and nudge buttons. Uh, this is the zero delay encoder there. And we got another transducer over here on the right hand side. Now these are running back to the Lepi or Lepe or I, I don't know, Leapy amplifier right back here, which is going to power those transducers. All right, forgive the portrait mode recording here, but I wanted you to be able to see the actual pinball table in action. So this right here is using Pinball FX3. Uh, hopefully you can hear my voice over the sound of the table. It's uh, really loud, but we'll go ahead and uh, get this started here. <laughs> So it's hard to really demonstrate in the video, but the haptic feedback that I'm getting from these transducers is pretty darn good. So we'll uh, get a game going here, which is really awkward for me to play with the camera right where it's at, but we'll see how it goes. Come on, bub. Do something. Yeah, like right there, I'm getting really good feedback as a ball is going down that chute there. Now, the, the feedback doesn't perfectly correspond to everything like the flippers. I mean, you get a little bit from it, uh, but those there really kind of kick it up pretty darn good. And then with the ball in there too, I'm getting a good shake out of that. Yeah, that right there, got some real good feedback off that. So it really does add a lot to the feel. It's not perfect. Um, I'm sure, you know, 
the tables that people have those solenoids in and all the programming and everything that goes into like Pinball X or Future Pinball to, you know, really use those things with Dolph Links or whatever. I'm sure they get, you know, a lot better stuff there, but I just got two little transducers in here and a little tiny amp and I don't know, I'm pretty pleased with it. So, yeah, I'm going to go back to playing. Come on, bub. Do something. sweet all right so here we are this should be the final thoughts i can't really give you a final thought though because i'm still tweaking this thing i can tell you i like the dayton audio transducer i had one in the machine it worked pretty well i got decent feedback out of it i thought adding a second one and moving them by the flippers would really add to the feeling and the immersion um it added a bit but it didn't revolutionize it so if you're looking for a cheap and easy way to add a little bit of a tactile feel to a virtual pinball cabinet, these are a pretty decent way to go. I'm sure they don't live up to the solenoids or the surround sound transducer solutions that people have. But my cabinet is monitors that have been given to me, a computer that was donated to me, and a storage track that I picked up at Menards. So we're not, we're not talking like some super expensive thing here, but... It sure is a lot of fun. So, totally recommend it if you're trying to do something inexpensive and something easy to do. Well, if you have any thoughts on the transducers or solenoids or any other type of haptic feedback that you could get in a virtual pinball machine, please leave it down in the comments. I'd love to hear your comments and, uh, you know, maybe spark some discussions. Uh, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. If you'd like to see what else I have coming out, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.